Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Good morning to you all. We are here. Yeah, we reached 300 subscribers. 300, player. 300. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can get to 1,000. That's my goal, 1,000. But special shout out to all of you uh, that made this possible. Without you, I would not be at 300 subscribers, so I appreciate all of you. Appreciate all your kind words, your... Um, your tips, vice versa. Yes, uh, the podcast will always be on Friday. So if you're interested uh, and you want to talk to me or anybody else, the audience in general, you can get in uh, simply by uh, joining the um, uh, the podcast while it's live. Or you can send me a message uh, beforehand. You can tell me your PSN and I'll uh, shoot, you an inv- or shoot you an invite uh, during the um uh, the day of the podcast, all right? So I'll tell you the na- the uh, details and vice versa when we're going to do it. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get into this news. Again, thank you guys again for 300 subscribers. Uh, let's see if we can get to 1,000. That's my goal. But again, thank you for 300. That's awesome. All right, so um, let's go ahead. All right, Final Fantasy XV has an update, and it brings uh, the Regalia Type D. And it's bringing... Offer customization options available at Hammerhead. Uh, the con- uh, conclusion of survey regarding future updates. So, addition of serv- uh, hold on, addition of compatibility with episode prompto, addition of pieces from episode prompto, and music and various bugs uh, fixes. So, there you go. That's what the update contains. All links are going to be in the description below. So, keep that in mind if I don't go all the way in it. All right, Destiny 2 open for preload on this uh, particular date. Now, if you didn't know, you can uh, pre-order uh, Destiny 2, whether at the store or on the PlayStation Store. Period. If you pre-order, if you have, whenever you pre-order a game on PlayStation Store, uh, you will get a time and like a specific day. So you'll get like a, a a good amount of days, and it'll tell you, hey, look, this is when this game will be able for uh, be available for you to play. For this particular case, uh, Destiny 2 says 73 days. And uh, that translates down to September 6, 2017. Now, we already got the actual release date at E3 on Sony's behalf, but um, there it is. That's clarification uh, if you pre ordered it. So there you go. And uh, you will be able to preload it on three days early. That's one thing that's cool about uh, downloading from PlayStation uh, Store. Uh, you can't necessarily uh, play it early, but you can preload it. And basically, what that does is um, the game. Uh, downloads automatically so it's kind of like you know you're downloading the game ahead of everybody but the the reality is you're not actually playing it before everybody you will however be be able to play it at midnight you know what i'm saying on the particular day that's how it works it's actually really cool i got a good chunk of my games if not all my games are digital this gen why because i found it more uh convenient like i i kid you not how many times i've left and went over to like my cousins or friends, and like I'll enter my PSN there, and we'll play the game on his system for my uh, library. I it's a lot more convenient for me than having a bunch of discs. But I do collect this every now and then, but not a bunch. I don't have a bunch like I used to for PS3. PS3, I had way too many damn discs. And let's face it, PS3 was a nightmare when it came to downloads. So <laughs> there you go. All right. So this right here, now, <clears throat> this uh, this is the upcoming PS4 games and new releases for the PlayStation Store for June 27th, uh, which is going to be tomorrow, uh, Tuesday. And yes, for Tuesday, I'm having a debate with a subscriber, so if you're interested, I'll be doing that live on the channel. So yes, uh, we're going to have a debate with a, uh, a subscriber. So let's go ahead and go over the list of games. Here's all the games. Uh, Area Deluxe Edition, America's Army Proving Grounds, Ancient... Uh, emulator we have uh, Arizona Sunshine Brawlhalla uh, Cavernous Wastes Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy which I already have on my system I'm waiting obviously for the timer to go down so I can play it um, Cryptarch uh, Dragon Rampa another episode Ultra Despair Girls Dark Ar- Arcana the Carnival Diablo 3 Eternal Collection Elite Dangerous, The Golf Club 2, Jump Jet, Rex, Medieval Defenders, Micro Machines World Series, Plague Road, Poi, The Tenth Line, Tokyo, uh, Zando, or Zanadu, uh, Valkyria, Revolution, and The World of Nebula. So there you go. Those are the games that will be available on the store as of uh, tomorrow. So there you go. Now... 
Uh, we don't know the game so far for the July version of for North America for PlayStation Plus. Now, I did do a video where they had speculations of what it could possibly be. You know, they had God of War. They had a few indie titles, and they had um, I think there was one more game they had on there that was um, supposedly gonna be. I'm not sure if it was Heavy Rain or something like that. It, it was it was another game, uh, but um, in Japan, it's already been revealed. So in Japan, they're getting Killzone Shadowfall, Child of Light, and Gravity Days, known as Gravity Rush Remastered. There you go. That's actually a fucking steal. Now, I never got into Killzone, but I actually wanted to play Shadowfall. I heard good things about it. heard a lot of things about it. Now, obviously, the negatives is that it's pretty much a tech demo, and that's 100% I agree with. I mean, let's face it, it was one of the launch uh, games for the system. But uh, it looked good. I actually looked interested into playing that. But um, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be for PlayStation uh, f uh, 4 in US. But if it is, that'd be cool. Uh, Gravity Rush, I actually was a little interested in. I was interested in seeing what that was about. I heard a lot of good things. So there you go. All right. Now, if you have PlayStation Plus and you're a non or I'm sorry, if you have PlayStation Plus, you know that you got, obviously, online access, and you know that you got, you know, discounts on games, this, that, and the third, you know, you got your uh, online storage, vice versa, and uh, that's how you, that's what you get for PlayStation Plus. Now, if you don't have PlayStation Plus, you don't have access to anything. However, it turns out you have access to one particular game that you can play online for free if you don't have a PlayStation Plus subscription. And that game is Wipeout Omega uh, Collection. So there you go. It's available for you guys. If you guys don't have a PlayStation Plus subscription, you can play it. Um, there you go. That is it. And... Here we go. Now, this right here I talked about in a video where I said uh, my thoughts on the PlayStation 5 or a possible PlayStation 5 release. I will link that at the end of the video so you guys check that out yourselves. But um, basically, it's just them saying the little interview they had with Sean Layden, which is this guy right here. You remember this guy. You know him. You always see him at E3. Okay. So let's go ahead and read this. In our interview with German uh, gaming site Golem, uh, following a statement about the PlayStation 4 Pro approach to console upgrades, the question was posted. This means that you are most likely to rely on, on a real PlayStation 5, whenever that will be. Sure, Layton, yes, it will probably be sometime. There's uh, been plenty of speculation on the PlayStation 5 release date, including some analysts claiming it will launch in 2019 at the earliest, but likely 2020, which a lot of people, including myself, believe it will happen. 2020, 2019 just does not fit right at all. Even though we don't really have no uh, games that we can really think of that could possibly be coming out in 2019. So a lot of people might say 2019, but I don't think 2019. 2020 seems like the best uh, bet to do so. But a lot of people are saying 2019 again because I think it was for the Tokyo Olympics, if I'm not mistaken. Tokyo Olympics. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. I think in 2020, absolutely. Uh, there's plenty of uh, power in the PS4, uh, specifically in the PS4 Pro, that is still untapped. And some developers believe that its boundaries can still be pushed with the potential of photorealistic graphics before the PlayStation 5 releases. Huh, Okay. Uh, the PS4 launched in late 2013, so a 2020 release date would mean a seven-year life cycle for the current generation. That right there seems like a perfect timeline. I'm telling you right now, seven years, perfect. Why? Because that would be on point with the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Yeah, those, those generations dragged on a bit, but here's the thing. A lot of people were invested, and a lot of people were still investing into them. So that's why I said seven years seems about right. And it seems about fair for those who actually bought their consoles and, uh, you know what I'm saying, are ready for the new one. So that's what that said. I, I already have the base PS4. I don't have a PS4 Pro. I have the base one that I got in 2013 when I had uh, bought it uh, day one. I had a friend who uh, held it for me, and I got it day one. And I got, uh, I think it was Call of Duty Ghost, which was my last Call of Duty game. And I and that was the game that broke me as a COD fan, and I stopped playing. And I got a Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which is one of the best uh, Assassin's Creed games. So that's what I got. Uh, the PlayStation uh, PlayStation gamers will have plenty of PS4 exclusives looking forward to uh, looking forward to, including Spider Man. Obviously, the game that they think is going to push to 100 million, which I think it, it can with the help of these uh, other games right here and a few others that are not on this list. But uh, Spider Man, Uncharted: The Lost Legacy, Last of Us Two. They forgot to mention Days Gone, Detroit, uh, and a few others. So there you go. 
There you go. That's all the PlayStation news I got for you. Again, special shout out to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Thank you again for 300 subscribers. Let's see if we can get to 1,000, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the news. If you did, make sure you like the video. Uh, thumbs it up automatically. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Make sure you uh, subscribe if you're new, if you like what you see here. Okay? And I'll see you guys later. You guys be good. Deuces.